Absolutely. Speaking. Abdullah, my name's Jason Curtis. Uh, if I need to do an interview with you. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, thanks for yourself. Okay. That's good. Um, oh. Congratulations, first of all, um, on the new album, which I just recently got my hands on, the Cape Town Flowers. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. Very, very nice effort, I must admit. Oh. Um, so say, I'm not going to take up too much of your time because I know you're a busy man. <laughs> um, a distinguished career um, in music, you know. Well one, yes. Uh, when you sort of reflect on that success, um, how does it sort of feel to have achieved what you have? Well, hold on. Uh, I need to answer this and then uh, okay. just think of all of them. All right. Sandra. Yeah, shame, because I was battling to get through to the hotel for some yeah, strange okay. reason. But uh, as I say, getting back to yeah. your career, uh, when you sort of reflect on it, um, how, how does it feel for you? Well, it feels as if uh, the major work still lies ahead. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know there's a South African dy dynamic that we've gone through you know, during the apartheid years. Right. For all of us, we did not have the that uh, logistic uh, support right. like other artists would have in the United States or elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So that we got through it all is, I think, it's a miracle. Mm -hmm. Not just musically, but in all ways, you know, mm -hmm. politically, whatever. It's a it's a miracle that has occurred. And uh, so with this CD, for example, was a chance now to. To uh, really to focus on, that's why I see my, n normally my my uh, tracks are quite long. Mm. This is we've got to put it down to to shorter, yes. shorter versions. Yes, very much. Because most of them are are actually uh, uh, on the CD. Mm. They are. And uh, as I say, you you began touring uh, internationally early in your career. Was that because of uh, obviously the situation in, in in South Africa at the time for you? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. You had to make that choice: either stay or or go. Mm. Was it was it a difficult one? I mean, because obviously it was very difficult. It's a very difficult situation. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I think we we made the right decision. Mm. Also, in terms of not just for ourselves, but uh, it gave us time and serenity in, in exile to 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 research, develop, mm. and hone the tradition, mm. so mm. that at least we can we can have it uh, accessible to young people now. Sure. Otherwise, sure. it would have been totally lost. You know. Yeah. Look yeah. at a group like the Blue Notes, for example. Sure. Yeah. Mm. There's, I think there's only one left now. Mm. Louis Louis Marlowe. Mm. Everybody sure. else has passed on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, a, that's part of our legacy that's gone. Mm. Because, I mean, at the time when you did it, was there, you know, and even when you were were in exile and looking back to, to South Africa, um, you know, what, what was it like for you? I mean, there you were, and sort of you were okay. Um, did you sort of feel sort of torn? Um, no, because uh, those of us who were outside of the country and inside of the country, we, we all played the, we all played our, our little roles, you know, it was necessary. Yes, yes. That we had both those dynamics. Mm, mm, mm. And sort of in your career, I mean, when when you travelled overseas, you, you always seemed to have uh, hooked up with tough people. Was was that sort of fate, or was that uh, just due to your hard work and persistence? I think a little bit of both, you know. <laughs> Mostly hard. <laughs> this thing is slogging, and it's slogging from day to day, you know. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, in those days, well, those were the days when you used to practice like 20 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as I say, what, what was it actually like for you when you when you first went over? Was it did you manage to sort of settle into what was happening overseas um, quite easily, or uh, was it was it a difficult period for you? No, it was very difficult in establishing you know myself like like anything everything anything else. Mm -hmm. the only thing is that we were well versed in it. Yes, before we left. Right. Yeah, we were absolutely well versed in it. Uh, I mean, to a point now where 
musicians in New York call me to from a recording studio to find out where the breach of a song goes. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah which says a lot, absolutely, yes. Yeah, but, but you know, South Africa, I mean, the jazz audience in South Africa is massive. Mm. And people are well, uh, you know, well-schooled. You know, yes. Well-schooled and, and, and very, you know, very committed to, 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 to the music. Mm. So, before we left here, mm. there was a, a, a good background of, of not just our, our, our international, our own music, but international music, and especially American, you know, American, mm. American jazz music. We mm. were well versed in it. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And uh, Cape Town Flowers, the new album, um, can you tell us how that actually came together to the point of it being released? Yeah, well, uh, I'm working in, uh, in a trio setting now, you know, so mm. it's a solo piano. The trio setting is the next step. Then, of course, I have a seven piece. Uh, group Akaya. Yes. And uh, doing some work now with a uh, with, uh, with, uh, uh, Philharmonic Orchestra. Right. Which is Zurich Philharmonic, the Munich Philharmonic mm. in the next couple of months. But the trio, this is our second trio mm-hmm. uh, uh, CD. Okay. Of the, last, of the last one was uh, Yarona. Yes. And uh, the, the trio format, you see, is really the how can I say it's, it's the, the the link between the solo piano composition and and the other and the other uh, groups right. like the, the the jazz unit and the and the symphony or whatever it is. So it's really the basic uh, like that basic orchestra. Mm. And with the trio, it's, you have a, you also have a lot of flexibility, mm. and also uh, can introduce the audiences into into. Uh, uh, new pieces because of, uh, all of them are really orchestral pieces. Yes. Mm. And then you when one writes, uh, yeah, you think of it orchestrally or with mm. with, uh, with with choir or with jazz unit. Mm. But the trio uh, uh, recording is actually like the the, the how what do I put it like uh, the formula. Mm. 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 So mm. Cape Town, in Cape Town Flowers, we we have a, a broad perspective of, of uh, I guess, what my music is about. It's not just one groove. Mm. There's a, if you look at like song for Agri, mm. exactly what you're looking for, for Agri Cluster. Yes. The Sowetan. Yes. But it, we, we try to, cap, uh, to, to, uh, to capture the mood of, of that time, you know, when, uh, when people like uh, our writers, you know, mm. you know like Kant, mm. Temba, KC and in, in Cape Town there was Howard Lawrence and mm. you know that mood. Mm. Then uh, Maraba Blues uh, dedicated to to Maraba Stack mm. in Pretoria, mm, mm, mm. which is actually where modern township music was was born. Mm, Contemporary mm. township music was, well, that, that's why the music is called Marabi. Mm, because you you you, uh, you obviously have taken from all of those influences. Um, you know, in writing this, because I mean, it's very distinct on the tracks. Uh, you know that you've taken an element of that, and obviously then created your own track from it. But uh, it, it has that identity of you know um, of where the song, or, or for who the song is actually intended. Exactly. Mm. Now, there's there's there's, there's one uh, mistake on, on on the liner notes. You know, the song Chisa. There is not my composition. It's a traditional. Okay. It's an old traditional South African song. Okay. But we included that also. If you, you see, see that song, she uh, said, "There's really no improvisation." Because mm. that used to, uh, that's how we used to play the, that's the dance like bands. You know? mm. <laughs> mm. Marabi dance bands is very rarely if somebody solos. It's like a communal thing. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And are, are you sort of appealing to anyone specific with this album, um, or is it uh, more sort of uh, just a general statement? Yeah, well, our, our, my audience is really what, what people call a crossover audience. It's not really a jazz audience, you know. No. The jazz people come and listen to the music. They listen to the music, but it's, uh, it's music, it's music for, for, just for about everybody. All, all genres of, you know. Mm. And people from all walks of life. Right. Right. And, um, so sorry, um, what was that? <clears throat> Someone was just knocking at the door. Um, and now, as I say, you've 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 been doing this for for as long as you have, 
Um, you saying that you're not even uh, this is sort of like a almost a beginning for you. So you you don't intend slowing down at all. No, we have at least five other CDs in, in the can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see a point that you're actually going to slow down or, uh, you know, almost retire from it all? Um, uh, you well, we, we feel that now it's time to kind of, uh, to kind of settle, you know, mm. uh, settle in the country, find, uh, find a place where I can actually do some, some more, more writing. Yes. And not have to go on the road that much. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, hopefully, start uh, this music academy that we've been trying. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you now based in South Africa, or are you still based um, overseas? No, I'm based in Cape Town and in and in New York. And in New York. So we still have to travel. Yeah, yeah, which is a thing, you know. It's a, it's yeah, well, you, you know, you know, you know. With our music, most mostly, it's uh, the CD is one uh, is one uh, aspect of it. Yes. But ours is uh, it's it's uh, our mainstay is live performances. Mm. You know? And are you are you still performing a lot live? Yeah, so I'm doing uh, what Thursday, mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday. Yes, at the baseline. Yes, 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 in Melville, yes. Yeah, but and internationally, like in international. Europe. Well, I've been just come off a tour of Europe. You know, there was the the northern uh, summer. Yes, the northern hemisphere summer time festival, of the year. So yeah. did Europe. Uh, did a, a duo fest, a kind of festival in Germany, a duo with Max Roach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we did a Scandinavia, Poland, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, all over. France, United States. And how are your audiences uh, there? Do you, do you sort of see a difference in the, in the audiences from, say, the likes of Europe, then moving across to the States? Are there... Is there any sort of specific audience that's say perhaps more receptive to what you're doing? Well, it is, we, it's, we have to, uh, that same kind of dynamic, you know. This is where things are unfortunate because my audiences, like I say, are, are crossover audiences. So we can actually play anywhere. It's not necessary for us to just play jazz club, but we play in any situation mm. and people respond to the music. Mm -hmm. So say, what, what do you think it is about it? Is it just sort of that marriage of a, of a whole lot of... Uh, sort of different influences, obviously also your time spent in music and, and your um, exposure to them, you know. No, I think what has, what has happened is that uh, this whole uh, 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 I'm going to say this whole journey that we've gone through in South Africa, politically, socially, mm. culturally, mm -hmm. has made us, uh, has made it possible for us to have a, uh, at least a two-pronged uh, agenda to our career, mm. which is number one, that there, there is the personal aspiration, mm. but we also have to, had to remain people oriented, mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Which, which kind of kept us kept us in touch. <laughs> yeah, sure. With people in, instead of just going into becoming uh, the, the superstar syndrome, sure, sure. Which in one way is is, is, is necessary, mm. but I think for us the blessing was that we had a struggle. Mm. Mm. So that do you think it actually sort of helped you sort of keep your feet on the ground in that respect? Because I mean, Perfect. to all intents and purposes, you could have, as you did, left the country and you know never have, have never returned. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Abdullah, thank you very, very much. Yeah, I've got plenty so here. Um, so congratulations again on the album. Good luck with the shows. I'm going to try and make it to the baseline. Thank you. Uh, to see the show, but uh, to say. You, you are a much admired uh, performer in my books, uh, as I say, and it has been a privilege to actually speak to you. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Right. Have a good day. Bye-bye now. Bye.